So after getting the BB-8, I couldn't stand not <laughs> having this to fly around. So we're going to unbox this uh, Air Hogs Millennium Falcon. I saw them flying at the Fan Expo when I wanted it so bad. And now here it is in the house. I'm trying not to knock over Spider-Man here. Alright, so this Falcon is tied to the bottom of the tray. And here's the micro USB cord. And... Oh, there's the controller. Don't. I'm gonna have to cut that out of there. <laughs> I've only got one hand here because my hand's on the camera. And a set of instructions. So, uh, need to put some batteries in somewhere, I'm sure, and charge it up, and we'll see what's going on. Okay, we got it to work. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ready? Uh, the whole thing here is I'm gonna try to fly it at the camera. It's okay, Lemon. Hey, get. Yeah. Hey! No. Stop. Hey, no working. Hey! Quiet. <laughs> hey. Hey, quiet. Lemon, no. Okay, so the whole point of this, they sell it for what is it, like almost a hundred bucks? And the whole sales pitch of it is that it's the styrofoam thing, so the whole thing is designed so you can fly it around, not worry about it, you can be rough and tumble with it, okay? So you see me, I'm only just out here, like on flat surface, it's not getting caught in trees and it's not smashing into stuff. It's f and it's, uh, you'll notice that one of the propellers don't even work right now. What is this? Well, that's a rip off. Especially after seeing the BB-8 and it was like just such a high-end thing. It wasn't even a toy. It was like a full-on robot. And uh, instead, so we figured, oh, then this fly around Airhawks thing must be awesome. Whoopee! That is my review of the Airhogs. Now at least I can make the remote make Millennium Falcon noises. I guess that's something. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.